the fire department is hoping to leave mannequins behind and improve training through virtual reality. We were so intrigued that we sent Jeff Todd to check it out. And Jeff, this technology certainly has a lot of different uses. Yeah, Karen, it was actually a Colorado company that came up with the programming, but they want to make it as realistic as possible. So they're working with the EMTs from Arvada Fire. The hope is that this new training will save lives. Phyllis, convert at 50 joules, please. This is a whole new kind of training for the Arvada Fire Protection District. Move to transcutaneous pacing if that doesn't work. I had never put on VR goggles before they came, and it was, it was mind-blowing. It was really cool. This is a hospital-based scenario. We have normal saline and O2 going. Great. Where the medical professionals can practice finding solutions to the cardiac issues the patient is having. Oh, my gosh. What should we do? But the Westminster-based company behind it, Health Scholars, is hoping to improve the scenario. And that's why they're asking for feedback from the professionals. The chasing of a cardiac rhythm is uh, very similar to what we go on. We'll be developing an application where EMS arrives at a home. Uh, perhaps there's a dog barking. The lighting might not be right. The American Heart Association is now asking these professionals to train on these kind of scenarios every three months. Second degree type 2 AV block. And software like this makes the training unlimited. Stop compressions. It allows us to provide highly repeatable, highly scalable, immersive education. Health Scholars has a long list of issues that they want to get this program up and running for. Like one of them would be cardiac arrest in pediatric patients. Certainly training that would help the EMTs on the streets. We're live in Arvada tonight. Jeff Todd covering Colorado first. Interesting, Jeff. Thank you.